Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Immortality. I think we're getting somewhere. I don't know, we don't have many clips left. In the last video we started working through to everything for the first time properly. Or maybe the episode before. I don't know, it's been a few days. Again, I'm not really mass recording this channel at the moment. It makes me very sad. But, but, we're on to of everything and let's, uh, let's just kick things off right where we left off. Charlie, take one. Scene 41, Charlie, take one. They're ready for you now. Of course. Where's Frank? You've been assigned someone new. Union rules in New York. We gave Frank the night off. Oh. Okay. Keep rolling, I wanna go straight into another one. They're ready for you now. Of course. Where's Frank? You've been assigned someone new. Union rules in New York. We gave Frank the night off. Okay. Give me a minute. What is going on? Someone said to use the D-pad for this, but I think I've tried that before and it didn't work for me. You can scrubble back D-pad by frame, sure. But you can't... Yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> it helps to find the end point, which is then where you start to rotate by, but you have to scrubble and actually rotate the controller, otherwise you can't find the biting point. We tried to elevate humanity by telling them the greatest story. Oh, we saw this one, didn't we? How much of it do I remember? Actually remember how much has been eroded by the retelling? You see this one? I remember the pain. Or the performance of it. Xbox Game Bar, go away. What you the most <laughs> is death and pain. We wanted to create the purest image of that. The other one was there. Later they made two Marys, but they- No, we saw this one. What is going on? Ah! <clears throat> it's okay, it's okay. I know I'm going to die. Does she die? We don't know that Marissa dies. I mean, I assume she dies, but maybe she doesn't. Maybe she just disappears. I don't know. Team 42, Bravo, take five. <sighs> Is the birthday boy out there? <laughs> there he is. Well, Mr. Hustenberg, I know you've had a big year. A really big year. After all, that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I was just so honored to be invited to perform for you here tonight. And if you're really 50, I'd like the numbers of your therapist and your personal trainer. <laughs> well, now I know you all aren't here to see me talk, so I'll just say one thing. A man surrounded by his friends and family on his birthday is a good man. And a lucky one, too. Can we drink to that? All right. Thank you. Cheers. And now, a big round of applause for the real star of this evening, Mr. Andrew Hessenberg. But everything bad in the world, but charming with it. Walk out like you own everything. Shall I go again? Yes, keep going. Great, JFK, JFK. Well, well, I must say, I can now retire from private enterprise after having had happy birthdays sung to me in such a sweet and wholesome way. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria. You're an absolute angel. Mm. Now, I know it's my birthday, but I'd like to give you a gift. Mm. 
<laughs> Whoops. When you look at that microphone, I hope you think of me and all of us here tonight. You're worth your weight in gold. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. Mr. Hasenberg, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now let's get this party started. <laughs> let's go again. Can we clear the fucking room? People in Terry's Island. Let's go. Oh, no, sorry. It's getting a little angry because he's sick. He's dying, and they're all dying, and we're all dying, and entropy is inevitable. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the guy looks 50, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> I just want to point this out. All right, let's see what we've got here. Where are you? Inhuman was Amy. It was not my intention to take a muse as a lover, but I found myself repeating that pattern. Amy has very little of me apart from my brilliance. Through her, I wanted to engage with the pressures that shape our art. Amy only felt alive when she was playing a part. I wanted to help her surpass herself. But each movie we made was less good. The other one had always said that the human story is always up to crime. And I started to feel that every time I looked at Amy. Interesting. I don't think that's anything to do with Marissa, etc. I think she's just talking about. I get the feeling that so she. I get the feeling she's hopping from body to body, right? I think we've kind of established that she's she's taking over women primarily, seemingly, but maybe not necessarily. That wasn't necessarily a woman that she was talking about there. But we know she's taken over at least two or three women already, and she's hopping from body to body over the generations, and she seems to favour artists and storytellers of any description. Here, she was clearly a film director. Once she was a girl in a barn. <laughs> uh, she, she's got some inclination towards telling the human story and kind of putting to the world what she's experienced or something like that. And yeah, now she's hopped into Marissa. Team 59 Alpha take six. Action. I thought this scene was going in a very different direction. <laughs> what a nice location, though. Maria? Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You have no idea. What's going on? Oh You're God. shaking. Isabella. Something just happened to me in my room. In your room? Yes. Please don't be upset. I have to tell you what happened. Slow down, darling. Is What happened? Andrew, he made a pass at me. More than a pass. He, he forced himself on me. Well, I think everyone had a little too much to drink. No. No, it was more than that. It was more than that. He, he gave me no choice. He attacked me. I had to run away. This is serious. It is. It's really serious. You don't understand, do you? Understand what? Andrew's a powerful man. And you've hurt his feelings. That's why I came to talk to you. He assaulted me. Maria. You're a big girl. You of all people should know the score. The score? I came here on a professional contract and I deserve to be treated like a professional. What part of that is unclear to you? Do you understand now? You are a big girl. You're falling out of your dress. You don't know who you're fucking with. I'm Maria. Wait till the world hears about this. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna have Andrew put away. I have money, I have power. You have power, money. You're not in our league, sweetheart. Andrew could rent out Yankee Stadium tonight 
and pay every single member of the NYPD to come out and watch him rape you on home plate. You're nothing. Everybody knows who I am. The public does. But the people that matter know Andrew. He's the most connected man in the city. He belongs to a different world. And you just threatened him. Do you understand what that means, dear? I'm Maria. He's gonna be on the front page of every single fucking newspaper in America tomorrow morning. I'm gonna destroy you. You could have walked away from this. I am walking away from this. No. I don't think you are. Do it. Do what? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! 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 Cut. Let's go again. I can do it better. We can pick it up. I want it to the master. It's late. You need to sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Let's go. Let's go. Damn. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Both of them clearly, I think both Marissa and <clears throat> Andrew know that this is the last film they'll ever make. And they're just kind of... It reminds me, alright, last night I watched um, the new cyberpunk anime. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's very much scenes where it's like, you know what, I know I'm not going to make it through this, I'm going to just throw everything I've got into this and make it the best thing I do before I die. And I was sad thinking about it because it's very sad. We must continue. I really need to fifty five alpha scenes. take four. I'm gonna grab this TV because I don't see TVs very often. Do you like it? It's wonderful. <laughs> How is it being on the other side of the camera, hair director? It's not. There's a lot of stuff in this room though. I'm gonna grab some things. Ambrosio to thank for that. His words calmed me. He has a great love for- mm -hmm. Laundry hamper. Um, this is gonna get a little, a little finicky now, I feel. Oh, and... Right. Look at that, a new Ambrosio. What a world we live in. Yeah, I'm a little... I'm, I've got some small concerns now about this because it is going to start getting a little complex. It wasn't an accident. Oh, there we go. That's new. I'm going to grab this a few times. <laughs> Clicking the wrong button just <laughs> over and over again. Kitty cat. I've had that one before, though. Let's see what more we can get from this. I mean, it's just going to be her every time, isn't it, obviously? Yeah, this'll do. Maria! Hey, girl. Maria, you got to see her. Good song. I'm gonna listen to that after this. <laughs> Beautiful morning. It is. It really is. A deadly combination with alcohol and a late night swim. The NYPD have refused to confirm the presence of drugs, stating they are unable to disclose the details of an ongoing investigation. 
Her body will be flown back to Los Angeles later today, where we'll head to the county coroner's office for an autopsy. If you're just tuning in, reporting on the death of pop star Maria at the age of 25. We're continuing our coverage with Dr. Morty Biggs, here to talk to us about this. Gary, it's, it's Heather. I know, I know. Gary, I know. Maria's dead. What? Reset the TV, going for one more before we break for lunch. Why are they instantly going into a hook? It's because they know they're near the end of the film. Because they're talking about death. Oh. I don't know. Cat food bowl. You ever wonder why he was so sure of you? That's a new one as well. Um, I gotta say, the cat did a good job. It's a good catchress. I came up with a catchress joke very early on into that clip. <laughs> so I was waiting for my opportunity. Airside counter. Then after a beat, we notice Mark. Oh, that's new as well, actually. Scene 58, Bravo, take one. Action. They're playing Maria's music. Look at the space where she would be sat. Go, Lucy. Excuse me? Are you Maria? Can you... I'm not Maria. Didn't you hear? Maria's dead. Cut. Got in one. Moving on. Sure. Bit of perfectionist, isn't she? Scene 20D, take one. Is that blood? Da, 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 da. People have all wondered what it is to mourn yourself. Go beyond death and look back at existence as a stage. <laughs> what are you guys She's talking about? out, but take one. Action. Go on the billboard. She couldn't swim. It wasn't an accident. Cut. Bring the billboard back up and we'll go again. Reset the billboard. <clears throat> I really do think if there's one thing this game really misses, it's a way to tell if it's a clip you've seen before. I think it's... I, I, I think it's like a fundamental mistake. It's like my only criticism, I mean the game isn't fantastic at explaining its systems in general, but that's okay, I don't mind figuring the things out. But just anything, just like a little mark or something to say that you have seen this clip. I guess the problem with that is though, you, you pick up a lot of clips. I don't know, I, I think there should be an indication when you're watching something for the first time, yeah. Just even like a little boop, like a little circle on the lower left of the screen just pops up just for a second saying, new clip, new clip. And there's like a little baby with a top part that goes, new clip, and then the world bursts into flames. That would make a lot more sense, and that would have helped me out, but Action. not the world we live Put in. Put me folks. through! Fuck. Vibrating. Cut. Counseling. Uh, the Great War. It wasn't hard to see it come. Okay, we're definitely another one. Cut. Kale Slate. Scene 60, Foxtrot, take five. I'm getting a little apprehensive about how close we are to the end. We're okay going without him? 
I just don't want to be here tomorrow going again. It's just weird, okay? Okay. Scene 63, Alpha, take one. Action. They'll get this retiled. It's been a while. Heather, how are we holding on? I need to talk to you. Okay, what's up? It wasn't an accident. What was it? Maria's death, it wasn't an accident. You seem certain. Oh, they're wrong. How so? Gary, she couldn't swim. I know, it seems crazy. Honey, Maria could swim. She swam every morning here. She swam in the splash video last week. What are you talking about? I know what's happening. What? There are five stages to grief. You are in the first denial. Listen, I am sorry I was callous earlier. None of us want Maria to be gone. We're all processing it. Except for Mark. That's on him. Mark what? He moved in with his personal trainer. You know, they had that thing. I did not know that. Oh. I thought I told you. I would tell you to keep the secret, but I guess... You said I could pick something? Huh? From the house. You said I could take anything? Oh, yeah. Anything at all, as long as it's under 2,500 bucks. Just find your state rep before you go, so sign it out. Listen. I gotta show these guys the garden. You gonna be okay in there on your own? Yeah, I think so. Listen, take it. Take care, sweetheart, okay? Let's do lunch next month. Cut. Larry, let's go again. More fatherly this time. Patronize me. Sure. Well, she's directing. Interesting. Uh, right, let's see what we can grab. Okay, let's just keep going from 18. Nope. It's a lot of, like, interesting things on the screen here, you know? Sister, you dropped your letter. Mm, no. Oh no, I've lost it. Where is it? Come back. <laughs> there we go. I knew that one was new. Oh, we're getting to see her get drowned. That's fun for the whole family. Scene 51, Delta, take seven. Wait, stop! Isn't that her bodyguard? Blame, blame. Okay, that's new as well. Oh, I need a gun! Opening on... I assume he's only in that one, but I will double check. Scene 84, rehearse. Okay, it does seem to be the case. Oh, I missed the bodyguard. We've seen that. Oh, that's. Wait, I'm confused now. It's on the left, isn't it? Yeah. Is she okay? <laughs> A 
And sometimes the leaps it makes make no. <laughs> what did I get? From her black hair to a great. Spit it out on the night show. You. I have no idea. I'm hoping that in these next few clips we find some revelations because. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do otherwise, basically. Seen 67 Alpha take one series. They're running a series here. Action. Oh, we should talk about what we just saw. Um. The guy trapped in, it's like a cave, maybe it's meant to resemble hell a little bit. I don't really know what to do with that at the moment. It doesn't seem to link with anything else we've seen. We've never seen the guy before, so. Maybe the reason it took me to the grate is it's like a prison, potentially, I guess. It could be more metaphorical than a literal translation. I love that shirt, it's not good for anyone. It's inside out. Where am I? Where am I real? Sad for the people I was, committed to my present self. Sometimes if I change my face, it's only a face. What is inside is strong. Meow. Okay, let's just roll on the face a bit. Look into your eyes. Adjust the wig. Look at your lips. Your eyes. Remember, remember the mountains, remember the cold, remember the first time you looked in a mirror and recognize yourself. That's a long vibration. What's going on? Sis! Who are you? I'm not sure he's anything. Oh! remember all the faces. What on earth is going on? Remember the cold? Remember the first time you looked in a mirror? And recognize yourself. 
In your head, repeat your name. Recognize yourself. Okay, cut. So I'm guessing the other two people. Oh, oh Are <clears throat> other people that the other has that the, the last the blonde last has taken over in the past. And now she can't remember them all, she's losing connection to them. But as Marissa was playing out that scene, and Jurek is talking directly about remembering who you are. And your inner core beyond just the faces, which is very relevant to what's going on in the wider story. She, as in the creature inside Marissa, starts to also reflect back on all the people she's absorbed, taken over, consumed, whatever you want to call it, over the generations. Um, was the guy the same guy from the cave? I don't know. But that was two, potentially two new people. The, the second last... I don't know if she was the, the farm woman, maybe? It doesn't really look like she was in farmy stuff. It looked like she was kind of pagan, potentially, in the way she was dressed, as the vibe I was getting, but who knows? Who knows? Running a series. I need a beverage. Bear with me. I feel like... I feel like things are building to a head a little bit. Which makes a lot of sense, because we're on the final of the three films, and we're at the end of that third film. But, yeah. Scene 69, Bravo, take two series. I'm running a series, just keep going till I cut. Going to New York? Heather Roberts? Taking a short break? I'm helping a friend. Going to New York? Heather Roberts? Taking a short break. I'm helping a friend. I'm going to New York, Heather Roberts. Taking a short break. I'm helping a friend. I'm going to New York, Heather Roberts. Taking a short break. I'm helping a friend. Just the last one. I'm helping a friend. I'm helping a friend. I'm helping a friend. I'm vibrating. You help a friend, I'll vibrate. Arthur Fisher was dying and he was mending bridges. Ah. I'm helping a friend. Who are you, Arthur Fisher? I'm helping a friend. Did it. Arthur Fisher was dying and he was mending bridges. He came to me and he brought me a gift. The uh, ambrosia negatives he'd stolen. Right. After he left, I watched them. I felt the pain in my heart. I felt the grief at who I'd been back then. I realized I missed Marissa and spontaneously brought her back. Okay, so that's... That's why she returned to acting, I guess. Um, so Fisher was dying. We know Fisher died. Do we know Fisher died? I don't know. Fisher was dying anyway. This is like 20 years after the film, so it makes sense. Um, apparently he stole the Ambrosio negatives. Now, did we ever learn why Ambrosio never came out? No, why would he steal the negatives? Why did Fisher not want the film to come out? Hmm. I'm not sure on that one. But, so he brings... Okay, so Ambrosia was filmed in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s, right? Well, late 60s, I think, specifically. And then Two of Everything was filmed in the late 90s. Which, by the way, you just can't for a second believe that Marissa's aged 30 years. <laughs> but either way, um... And he is dying, you know, he's old at this point, he's 30 years later, maybe he's in his 80s, 90s, whatever. And he brings... I can't remember if we ever saw Fisher. Oh, we did see Fisher. Fisher was... Fisher was... 
already old. He's also a big guy, so yeah, it doesn't surprise me he was maybe dying 20, 25 years later. Um, Fisher was a guy who looked a little bit like uh, Hitchcock. Um, so he brings... He stole the Ambrosio negatives, and then he's trying to mend bridges ages ago, late, ages later, maybe trying to make it up to Marissa that he took away her first film, basically. Brings her the negatives. That re-inspires her to get into acting again. She sees she used to be as Marissa the actress, rather than whatever she'd been doing in the meantime in those 20 years since. And then she decides to be in two of everything. Makes sense. Scene 73 off at take 11. Action. It's also interesting to note that the other, the, the blonde, slip back hair woman, does seem to inhabit the person that they inhabit. <laughs> they imbue themselves together. They, she talks as though she is Marissa. You know, sometimes she'll talk as though she's external to the people she takes. Like when she's describing the farm girl, but sometimes she is Marissa personified. It probably depends about who she's in at the time, basically. What's happening? John, should we cut? We need to find a different hotel room. This one isn't good enough. I wanted two of everything. Be about everything. But as simple as possible. It was my story. At the beginning, I felt we could do it, but as it went on, I realized it wasn't going to work. The other one was there, but like never before, and we pushed, but I was trying to do too much, to be too much. You know what I think Scott, it, it is, to an extent? She, she, she's embodying part of Marissa. And she's there talking about, you know, we try to do too much, we try to push, but the other one was pushing back, yada yada. I do think, we kind of talked about this in the past, that there's this kind of conflict between law and art, or maybe beauty and art and pain and depression and all that kind of jazz. And the way the two naturally go pretty hand in hand, it must be said, all great art comes from pain and honesty and brutality in some ways. Anyways, um... Not necessarily pain, but at least a rawness, right? You can't make great art if you're not honest about yourself and about what you're trying to do. And uh, if you're honest and open, you inevitably open yourself up to more pain, is the point I'm trying to make. But I think this... I don't know if she actually is a creature. Like an actual supernatural being. I don't think he is either. I feel what they are is the embodiment off two sides of the same person, right? Like creativity and verve and passion and art and then the negatives, the flip side of that coin, the dangers of fame and money and sex and depression and pain in general, yada yada yada. So when she talks about that kind of thing, it's like her, it's like left brain, right brain to an extent. I don't really want to put it like that, but it's just so you know what I mean. So. What she's saying there is like the left side of her brain is like, yes, we can do this, we're going to push through, we're going to make this work, we're going to make this brilliant film, I'm going to put everything of myself into it. And then she's realising as she goes on, and the other part of her personality, the other one, the other guy, is kind of then going, is trying to clamp down on that, is trying to stop that, and over time he's getting stronger and sort of taking over, and that's why we see Marissa falling apart. There's a lot of talk about muses and stuff like that, so that, I think that makes a lot of sense to me, actually. We need to find a different hotel room. This one isn't good enough. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> They're getting very frustrated with Jurek. This is the last clip. Scene 74 Alpha, take 7. Why are they together? Oh, she was just being nice. I'm just gonna grab that while we're here. Boo. Action. Is 
the seat taken? Actually, yes, I'm waiting for someone. Detective Murphy, perhaps? He won't be joining us. Do I know you? Isabella Hessenberg. And I know who you are, Heather. You really look nothing like her. I don't want to talk to you. I think you should. We're both after the same thing. What? We want to know what happened to your friend. It was an accident. But you don't think it was? I've been married to Andrew for a long time. It's a complicated relationship, legally, morally. He's a very powerful man, and that limits what I can do, what I can say, what I can see. I don't like seeing other women get hurt. You think Maria had something to do with Andrew's death? You think Andrew had something to do with Maria's death? I've seen what it looks like when power goes unchecked. I don't know if Andrew remembers what it is to be human. Have you told the police? How do you think I found you? The police work for Andrew. I stepped in before any of this reached him, but you don't want him to know you're poking around. Well, what are we supposed to do? Well. That's complicated. Is it? I hope that you find what you're looking for. Good luck. Well, wait, where are you going? Wait. VIP. Alive. Don't really know what to say about any of that, <laughs> that I just saw. What is, what is wrong with her? <laughs> like, what injury or what illness makes that happen where you just start to profusely bleed from your head in a really, really, really strong manner? And then that conversation was weird as well. Also, by the way, this woman who solicited who organized the death of Heather. I don't know if she's playing a game or if she's just doing what she, or she was doing what she thought she had to do given her husband's stature. But either way she still got the girl killed so, you know. Anyways, um let me die like you did and I'll be more. I don't know how to interpret that right now. <laughs> 